we now have everything that we need in order to find the angle between two straight lines. We can do it with any, two any old vectors, but with two straight lines, there's an inherent problem uh, that you might think that, you know, if I just write down any old two lines in three dimensions, then we know that potentially they could either be parallel or they could intersect or they could be skew lines, okay? So how could they, you know, let's say these aren't parallel and they're not, then how, if they are skew lines, could they make an angle? Okay, so effectively, if you think about it, you've got these two straight lines. They don't intersect. How could we be finding the angle between them when really there's the two lines aren't really crisscrossing, if you see what I mean? They don't, they don't cross. Um, so what we do in this case is we kind of imagine that we're going to bring those two lines together so they meet at the origin, okay? And then we find the angle from there. It's effectively turning the two lines into two position vectors. So when we're finding the angle between two lines, uh, where they are uh, in space doesn't matter. All that matters is in which direction they're pointing. So in other words, if we've got two lines like this, then I can completely ignore the position vectors. Okay? I don't need to worry about that. All I need to think about are the direction vectors. That's all that are need that's needed for this problem. So what we have is a first vector of 5, 7, minus 10, and a second vector of 6, 2, 9. Okay? So, we need the scalar product formula. So, A dot B is mod A mod B cos theta, okay, which I'm going to rearrange to get A dot B over mod A mod B. Let's rewrite that bit, that B. There we are. Okay, so here's my A and my B. I need to find A dot B and I need to find mod A mod B. So, let's find mod A first. Okay, so that's uh, the square root 5 squared plus 7 squared plus minus 10 squared square rooted. Okay, so 5 squared plus 7 squared plus 10 squared, that gets me the square root of 174. Then mod b, so 6 squared plus 2 squared plus 9 squared, square rooted. So that gets me 11. Okay, so that's a whole number. And a dot b is 5 times 6. Uh, plus 7 times 2, plus minus 10 times 9. Okay, so 5 times 6, plus 7 times 2, uh, plus minus 10 times 9. And that gets me minus 46. So, cos theta is equal to minus 46 over root 174 times by 11. Okay? So I'm going to work that out and then inverse cosine both sides, um, making sure my calculator is in degrees. So inverse cosine gets 108.5 degrees to one decimal place. But of course, we're looking for the acute angle, and so we need to subtract that from 180. So the angle is 180, take away that, okay, which is 71.5 degrees to one decimal place, okay? And so that is the angle uh, that those two lines make.